It is literally at the darkest moment when it dawns. You don't really even get to the next level to your darkest moments. No matter what you've ever been through, you had to go through it to get right here. There's glory on the other side of pain. No pain lasts always. And when you make up your mind to deal with pain because you know what it feels like, man, ain't a devil in hell can stop what you're trying to do. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. Stop tripping when it gets dark and you run it. You run it from your success. Why would you do something for 10 years then quit? If you was gonna quit, you should have quit when you put your first brand in it. You're like 9,800 hours deep into it. It only takes 10,000 hours. So it's not the darkest moment that's the problem. You the problem. And your perspective is the problem. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. You must eradicate excuses. You will never ever point the finger at anybody again. You will never blame another human being, even if they wrong. You will not point the finger. You will not say because she didn't do what she was supposed to do or because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. I couldn't do what I was supposed to do. You're never going to say that again. You're going to take 100% ownership. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. The difference between the winners in life and the people that constantly live their lives on the lowest level is that the winners handle problems better. They look at the situation and they say, what do I need to do instead of why me? and they look to fix the problem so that the next time around, they're prepared for it. If you wanna be a real winner in life, don't try and avoid problems. Get really masterful at handling them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they wanna do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You wanna take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. It's very, very simple to get what you want. But it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to, ever. No one's coming, no one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever gonna do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, Unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. you got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices, they wake up and they make another bad choice, and they make another bad choice, now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. 
They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over. That yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intended to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. To anyone out there that's listening, that's started to go down, down in that hole, trapped in the chains of depression, or addiction, or rage, you're going through a tough time. Maybe you're walking through real depression. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. What will your response be? Are you going to sit back or are you going to step up? Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed. But I want to remind you that failure is not final. It's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. 
How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. You might not be in control of the storm, but you can have the courage to face the storm and say, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to walk through this thing because I believe this thing is leading me to another miracle. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. If you make the decision to get up one more time, I'm telling you, you will win the fight. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting is the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. Regardless of your emotions, these test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions f***ing thrive on. You got the little voices in your head. And you know what they're saying? They're saying, it's okay. You've done enough. Take a little rest. It's fine. You can take the day off. You don't need to go hard. That's what those little voices are saying. But you've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? I said you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're going to do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. 
Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no. Are you going to win? Yes or no. Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. You can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. Despite the fact if your parents in your life or not, you can win. Despite the fact that you started behind, you can win. You can pull it off. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You got to be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no doggone helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you put in those extra raps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music and you just get on stage and you shine. It's the process that makes you sweet. So many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence, that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice? No. Do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. you got to show up in spite of the naysayers. you got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind you got to show up for your life because if you don't nobody else will fight your way through this battle your greatness comes from within and once you realize that nothing will stop you nothing will keep you from being great it's already there you just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason fight your way through it fight your way through this battle Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. 
Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got this far. If you was gonna quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know, after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles. And you were made just for a time like this. When I started listening to Adele, Adele blew my mind because as I was listening to her music, I could tell that this was real to her. And as I started studying the girl, I found out, I discovered that she had been through a breakup. They said her album 21, like she started the album, stopped for months because she had no creativity, right? But then they said all of a sudden her man broke up with her. And not only did he break up with her, he broke up with her, got with somebody else, and got engaged in a matter of weeks. It broke her, it broke her, it broke her so much. God is so good. Sometimes he gotta break us to bring the creativity out of us. He breaks her, he breaks her, he breaks her heart. And she goes into the studio, and when she goes into the studio, she just doesn't sing something she made up. She actually sings something that's true to her heart. At first, yep, she's gifted, yep, she knows how to write, but it was kind of in the outer space. But then something happened to her, something broke her. And when that thing broke her, something within happened to her. At first, it was just external, but then something internal happened. And sister girl got up and said, take me in the studio. Turn on the music, turn on the sounds of, I got something for her. And she sang it like she never sang anything else. And let me tell you something, out of that pain, out of that hurt came the best album, the best single, the best song, and six Grammys. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in, get through it. And so God has allowed you to go up the rough side of the mountain, not so he can hurt you or break you. He's trying to redesign you. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Oh. It doesn't look like you think. You didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Hold. Lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You going to quit now? And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You won't break me. You can't touch me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. I'm unbreakable now. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death. Real life sh You're alone. There's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're f You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. And all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the f is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I gotta write out every fucking thing I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. If you're a student in school, try harder, study harder, and focus more. You got this.
that athlete that's out there and you're not training how you're supposed to. Go 10, 15 minutes harder. Five, 10 more reps. You have to work when no one's watching. You have to train like there is no tomorrow. Day after day after day. You can improve just a little bit every day. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be in. If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're talking about five fucking days. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you get. And that's the truth. That's the things your friends won't tell you when you're bitching and moaning about how your life sucks on Friday night, drinking a fucking brewski with your boys. That's the sh your mom won't tell you when you're sitting in your mom's basement playing fucking video games, when you should be reading or improving or working out or fucking doing something. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how frustrated or pissed or angry or depressed or upset you are. All that matters is that you do what needs to be done on a daily basis over and over and over again. And if you do that sh and it gets done, it's irrelevant how you feel. And I can tell you this, if you do that sh for long enough, you're going to feel a lot fucking better about your life than you do right now. I know what you're going through. Countless hours setting up, thinking if your life will ever get better. Thinking about everybody that's passed away. Just walked out your life. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? No one really likes you, no one really cares about you. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll never know that. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. And if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I buck back. I buck back. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom! The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. Your ancestors got through so much more. We will be all right. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. I just need you to keep walking toward it.
I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You analyze it too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. If you want to know how to change your life and give it to you in three words, boring as it sounds, raise your standards. Everybody in life gets their musts. They don't get their shoulds. Most people have a list of shoulds, don't they? Don't you have a list of things you should do, you should follow through on, I, I should lose some weight, I should work out more, I should get into the office earlier. People love to have their should list be met, but it's kind of like New Year's resolutions to kind of know it's not gonna happen. But when you decide something is a must for you, when you cut off any possible, you say, I'm gonna find the way, or I'm gonna make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things, when they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard, and they make it a must, they find a way to make things work. Because somewhere when we make this click, when we make something a must, we attach ourselves to it. It becomes part of our identity. Whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. Your physical body today is an absolute reflection of only one thing. Not your goals, not your desires, but your standards. If your standard is you're an athlete, then there's a certain amount of strength, a muscle tone, and energy that's available in your body on a regular basis because that's who you are. And so you do whatever's necessary to maintain that identity. The strongest force in the human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. Once you lock in on that identity, your brain finds a way to keep you there. If you identify yourself in a new way, and that becomes the standard of how you live, you'll find the way to make that standard real. It all comes down to the inner game, my friends. Changing your life is a change in the inner game. The outside world you can't control, but you have absolute control over this one if you learn the dynamics of what shapes you. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. Dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to believe for your dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. Am I satisfied? Not by a long shot. And I will not go quietly until the night. I will go kicking and screaming. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity I have to reprove myself again because the day you become content, is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. Where are the warriors that say, I'm gonna make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling or down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day day whether you feel like it or not oh I don't feel so good today get your lazy sick ass up out of bed your only commitment is to the activity not to the grand scheme not to the big picture not to the implications of what it is that you're doing it's to do the thing habits are the building blocks of our lives it's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything devote yourself to something bigger be decisive about what you're going to do. Say, I'm going to do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you be like it or not. None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all going to fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial. And trials are never supposed to be easy. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life. 
because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up and then you fail and then you get up and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith and you can get knocked down and get back up again and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed. But when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for comeback. The champions is not the potential, it's not the genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. But it's okay. It goes with the territory. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're going to not concern yourself with the naysayers. That you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened. But you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you. And you decide to play it safe. And 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they gonna hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it. Grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. And I challenge you to push yourself. When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again, defeat again and again and again, and every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. Fight your way through this battle. You have what it takes. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. What you become in the process is more important than the dream. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting.
Oh, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life because if you don't, nobody else will. Pressure does most people in the weight of what it feels like to want to be successful every single day over and over and over it's just too much pressure people crack you got to persevere you must insist that this is going to happen you got to get in there and keep fighting you got to be constantly at it everybody got to develop some dog in them you got to say, I'm going to hang in here now. I'm going to hang in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay with it no matter what. At the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance, the heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating, just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Is a person a character that values who the f they are? There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. Everyone wants it, but somebody wants it more. Where does all the great sh that we have in our lives come from? It all comes from people who, in the face of massive adversity, decide that they're going to move forward regardless. They're going to make the thing that they want to happen happen no matter what anybody says, no matter how many times they get laughed at, no matter how many times they get called crazy, no matter what, they are going to make this happen. We have the ability to make the choice to be the person who rises above the sh If you keep making the choice to take the things that happen to you and turn them into good, productive things, there is no way that you cannot be successful. There are moments that try the human soul so violently and so perplexing that if the truth were told, all of us have had moments that we wanted to throw up our hands and walk away. Depression, frustration, anxiety, pain, disillusion. It's just a natural part of the process of becoming a stronger version of yourself. It happens to us spiritually and it happens in the world physically. You actually have a say so in how your life goes. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. You have no say so in what happens to you but you have a say so in what you do about it. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you, but you need dirt on you to develop because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you gotta have dirt on you to push through something. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad cause you get a setback. You get mad cause you get thrown off course. You get mad cause you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad cause they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad cause you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. 
But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. I'm better. I'm better than I was when I went down. It was good for me that I've been afflicted. I'm better for it. I didn't like it, but I'm better for it. I couldn't see down there, but I'm better for it. See, I was planted in a dark place, but I'm better for it. Every time you go through something dark and you can't see your way out, remember you've been planted, not been buried. I'm not buried in this mess. I'm planted in it. I'm planted in it. And if I'm planted in it, expect me to come back up again. And when I come back up, you won't recognize me because I'm going to be transformed by the experiences that I have endured. I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. You got to take some L's to be a champion. You ain't got to take no L's to be a winner, but you got to take some L's to be a champion. And you tripping on your L's. Your L's about to prepare you. Everybody's got a f***ing plan so they hit in the f***ing mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f down the f***ing canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is f***ed up, what the f*** are you going to do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay f***ing hard. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. As long as you got breath in your mouth, don't you ever give up. Don't you ever give in because I never told you it would be easy. But with mental toughness, you can get it done. I don't care how hard you fall. Fall on your back. Because if you can fall on your back, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can get up. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that sh If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. And 10 years of motherfucking work is going to pay off. You can do this. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. When your life is f***ing hard and life is coming at you, you will panic and you will forget who the f*** you are. Because in the worst of f***ing times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in the f***ing sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going, you're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. If you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. 
You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. Move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want. Because you expect to get it. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. If you don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worried over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you're gonna look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You're going through hell? Don't stop. Keep moving. You keep on swinging and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit. Shut up and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I came to tell somebody you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. You're going to face some hard times. You're going to get slapped around. And don't take it personal. Don't ask, why did this have to happen to me? It's called life. It happens to everybody. You could plan your life to be ideal today, and I guarantee you there will be things that happen along the way that were unplanned, that will look as if they're unfortunate, that will feel as if the world's coming down on your shoulders. But those are also the greatest lessons. Some of the best things that we've ever learned from people happen because they were going through some time of discontent and they said, how do I overcome this? What can I do about it? And there's other people that would have to face that if it wasn't for that knowledge, if it wasn't for that experience. But it's because they did something. They didn't just fall victim to that. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. When your day is a museum of disappointments hanging from events that were outside of your control. When you find yourself flailing in an ocean of why is this happening to me? When you get put in the esophagus by a fistful of life, remember that you will survive. Remember, things could be worse. Remember, we are never, ever given anything that we can't handle. When the world crumbles around you, you have to look at the wreckage and then build a new one out of all the pieces that are still here. Remember, you are still here. The human heart beats approximately 4,000 times per hour. And each pulse, each throb, each palpitation is a trophy engraved with the words, you are still alive. Act like it. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people, well then you're gonna have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit. We can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an unconquerable soul. You gotta get up to find your purpose. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges I'm tired of being quiet about. Others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. 
I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm going to start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. It can be painful. It will be uncomfortable. And that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're going to get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure is there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again and does it again until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your ladder is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. See, we gotta look our trauma in the face. We gotta embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. It's forming your future. It's pushing you forward. What will your response be? Are you gonna sit back or are you gonna step up? That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? When you go through a storm, it strengthens you. When you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. That setback is going to become a comeback. Go through the darkness, come out on the other side something new and allow that person to change the world. So many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed. 
mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. When you're down in that hole, look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No. Do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed, but I want to remind you that failure is not final, it's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. You might not be in control of the storm, but you can have the courage to face the storm and say, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to walk through this thing because I believe this thing is leading me to another miracle. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. If you make the decision to get up one more time, I'm telling you, you will win the fight. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life? in the shifting seasons. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen, and when they do, it's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually, you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. 
You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with me. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight, and you got to go get that fight. Life ain't going to be easy. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. You still got to go to work. You still got to compete against everybody in your industry. Life's still going to happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f*** I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. When you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human. You gotta get the job done. You gotta tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You gotta tell bankruptcy. You gotta tell divorce. You gotta tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with. But you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. I know what you're going through. Countless hours sitting up, thinking if your life will ever get better. Thinking about everybody that's passed away, that's walked out your life. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change, and you're going to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? And no one really likes you, no one really cares about you. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll never know that. There are some times in life where you fall down you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges. I'm tired of being quiet about it. Others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm going to start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. You got to get up to find your purpose. I dare you to fail. I dare you take that same class over and over again. I, I dare you stop dropping classes like you saw. See, getting what you want is up to you. 
You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folks that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, we can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. Whenever you start, you make sure you finish. If you do not kill me, you will not stop my drive. No petty adversity will not stop me. I have to complete every mission that I set out on. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people, well then you're gonna have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit. We can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an unconquerable soul. It can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation. None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all gonna fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial, and trials are never supposed to be easy. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry, but giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up, and then you fail, and then you get up, and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith and you can get knocked down and get back up again and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed. But when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for comeback. The champions, it's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion.